Greetings, everybody. I'm Deji, joined today with Marcos and Brianna, and we're here to talk about our final thoughts on Sonic Forces before the game comes out. We are 13 days away from the game, and yeah. Uh, so, we Marcos and I played the demo, and the video of Marcos playing the demo went up earlier today, so... Uh, before we get it to talk about that, let's talk about our initial thoughts of the game so far. I don't even know if I want to buy it right now. Um, it's almost um, like the um, just the idea of the fan character, and it just seems a little bit too convoluted. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. And in the art style, like what you were pointing out earlier, earlier, Marcos, um, it just seems a little bit too unfinished. Uh, Any, anything else? Like what you think about presentation-wise, or like gameplay, pres- or oh, uh, um, presentation. Um, I thought it was handled nice. I mean, uh, they kept uploading music videos ever so often. Um, I am kind of worried about the final boss, though, because they up, um, uh, Sega team uploaded uh, the uh, the boss for the uh, custom character, uh-huh. and it seems a little anticlimactic. Easy, yeah. Especially when too you easy hit, and when you hit infinite, yeah, and he has no uh-huh. hitbox animation. Right. Uh. Well, I mean, that's like the... I'm sure that's the first infinite boss fight, so it's going to be pathetically easy. Uh, Let's not hope. so sure about that, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, I mean, early boss fights in Sonic games, how many of them have actually been good? I, I, like, early on. Um... um. Uh, you know what? You yeah. have a good point. Yeah, I was gonna say it too, but I, I mean, just remember Brad, that, it, that doesn't justify its quality. I'm just right, right. Of course, of course. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you, you got a good point. Well, what, what do you think of the music um, for the for the game so far? Um, music's okay. I like the fact that they're bringing back the. Um, song lyrics in uh, in stages. It's been seven years. Seven years. It gives last. me something to edit to. <laughs> yeah. um, but other than that, it almost seems a little bit anticlimactic. And um, I, I almost liked how like when it was first introduced, it was really excited for it almost more excited than i was for mania but as the trailers went on it kind of died okay uh, okay so ever since it was first announced back at that sonic convention last year i've been pretty skeptical about it when azuka said it was a sequel of a brand new experience i don't know <laughs> oh, and I know yeah. a lot of people are tired of me mentioning it, but I still can't let it go. Like, they brought in classics, and I was like, huh, that's a red flag. And then when we finally got gameplay, it's like, oh, it's a return of the boost formula. It's not a formula I'm a fan of. Personally, I would have brought her day improved upon Lost World. That's just me. I know a lot of people strongly disagree with it. But... And then you see, oh, they brought back Green Hill Zone. Like, uh. Then For they the brought back. Fifth time. Then they brought back the Sonic 1 boss fight. Then it turns into the Egg Dragon. And it's like, what? You know, this would have been really awesome if just generations had never happened. Right. Yeah. And, and then it helped that Mania also had the, the Death Egg robot as a boss fight for Green Hill Zone, so it just feels a bit eh, not too entirely sold on this whole thing. And they also confirmed that, oh, uh, there's going to be more returning stages, so it's like, yeah, it's 
Generations 2. Doesn't help that all the previous bosses from Generations, Shadow, Chaos, Metal Sonic, Zavik, are, I, 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 plus Zavik, because he's a new one, it, it are going to return. It was just like, oh, yeah. And Infinite just gave me, initially, he gave me Mephilus vibes. Yeah. He gave everybody Mephilus vibes. Yeah, all those theories of speculating that Mephilus is infinite and all that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Um, me and a friend had a bet going on um, before um, the main. Um, the main trailers came out saying that um, I, I was thinking that the uh, Wisps were going to come back and he wasn't and I apparently won that bit. What, what did you win? Bragging rights. <laughs> yeah, bragging rights. Dang, son. Should have been some he money. still has no endow. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, initially when I first saw the trailer for, you know, when it came out with the whole set up in the apocalyptic world and Sonic being there, I'm like, oh, okay, that's this seems somewhat interesting. But when Classic Sonic got revealed, you know, they say, oh, you know, you need heroes and allies to join forces, and you see Classic Sonic, I was like, well, uh, so it's Sonic Generations 2. Then Azuka said, mm-hmm. oh, it's not a sequel, it's a brand new experience of bullshit. But everyone called bullshit on that statement of his. It's Sonic Generations 2, that's basically what it is. And then they've then the whole silhouette character thing, like people was like, it was Bubsy for reason, I guess for a joke, joking reasons, I suppose. And then, you know, along with other stuff, people thought I was Blaze the Cat for some reason. Uh, and then they revealed, you know, I actually thought, like, hmm, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they were doing a custom avatar thing, considering they did, you know, this has been kind of going on in recent games. The only ones I can think of is uh, the Dragon Ball games, like, you know, Xenoverse 1 and 2. So, sure enough, it was. And when they showed the gameplay footage, I was kind of glad they brought back the boost formula for Modern Sonic. However, just something seemed a little bit off. And I noticed that in, like, when they showed more of the trailers, that the game looks a little unpolished in terms of like the models and stuff. And it, it just looks a little unfinished when, they, when you're looking at the levels itself and like just like the graphics and stuff um, with the lighting and all that. Um, I was a little concerned there and then like I said when we got to gameplay with you know with Modern Sonic I was like oh, okay but but then when we got to the level designs of what we've seen so far it's like with Modern Sonic it feels so linear it's not even funny you know and then and, and it's not it's already... to defend this stuff John saying, oh, yes John especially. No, no, it's not even the fact that it's linear. It's just like it's linear, but there's not much to it. Right. Or as I was about to get into that, like people were actually saying, "Oh, like generations has the same level." I'm like, "No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't." With generations, there were other obstacles. You know, there were enemies there that actually attack you. There were power ups you could earn, extra lives. You know, there's like different pathways to go to. You know, the levels and stuff like that. That is good level design to me because it shows that you know it's you know has good platforming as well and you know i with here it's just with like and, and i'll get into this a little later but you know then we got the classic sonic it's like well why is he here you know like he really doesn't really need to be here like it feels like he just got shoved in on the last minute of development apparently but it's like he's not i wonder how the story is going to treat that uh, have you have, have you pl- have you played uh, Sonic? Man- have you beaten Sonic Mania? Yeah. Yep. Have you gotten all the Chaos Emeralds? Yep. No, but I know what happens. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much what's going to happen. That's the reason why he's there. But- and like everyone was speculating, oh my god, does that mean that it's connected to forces? No, I don't believe it. And then Sonic is like, eh, there's Mania and forces might be yeah. connected. And I was like, wow, okay. There's yeah. even some theories out there saying that Infinite is the little um, Master Ruby or whatever it was called. Uh, Phantom, Phantom Ruby. Yeah. I mean, he pretty much he's pretty much powered by it, so. Yeah. The question is, who is he really? Is he Tails? No I'm kidding. Yeah. Come up with all that stuff, but but anyways, back to what I was talking about gameplay wise. You know, classic Sonic. He looks like he plays the same, but you know, it's like again, he just feels like he doesn't really need to be there. 
And you know, it looks like, you know, most of the level doesn't work for you with all the boost pads and shit. Whatever, dash panels, whatever. And then we get to the avatars gameplay. It's like oh, modern no. Sonic, okay. but butchered down. You like, you know, you don't have the dash. You have your weapons, which is nice. I guess he's only use long range attacks. And he could sort of do the homing attack with his grappling hook, so that's nice, I suppose. But still, it just looks a little off, you know. It, I, I don't know. Like something about it just it looks to me like I'm willing to give it a shot, but something about this just something about this just doesn't feel right. Like, I'm not gonna get my hopes too high because last time I did that was with Lost World, and fortunately, Sonic Boom. Rise and then you drop, and when you got to Lava Mountain Zone Two, you dropped it for like oh, two months. Uh, <laughs> I didn't drop it for two months. So I did. Or I did rage a lot. But no, the point is, is that yeah. I don't want to get my hopes too high with what we've been getting with the Sonic games recently, even though Sonic Boom was technically not made by Sonic Team, I'm still willing to come because it's a Sonic game. So I'm not going to have my hopes too high for this one. And especially, I was even more concerned when the red flags came up, when they first announced that, oh yeah, the producer of Sonic 06 is working on this game. That's a red flag for me. I'm like, oh shit. And then like thinking about it, I'm like, so the producer of 06 is working on this game. The story-wise is set up in an apocalyptic world, and you're... It's trying to be like the comics. And with having a resistance, of <laughs> all that crap, man. Yeah, it's funny. It's trying to be like the comics, even though the comics are canceled this year. Uh, please, let's, let's not talk about that right now. Yeah. But, I don't know, like I said, something about it just looks unfinished. I, I would be more than happy if they delayed the game to finish, you know, working on their stuff, right? So... Yeah, but they already delayed it. Yeah, that's I'm true. Fine, I'm fine. It's, I'm, it, it's true, but I'm uh, honestly, uh, honestly, here's the thing: what, what, like a delay really wouldn't like change the level design. They'd have oh, to. Oh, I know re that, but I'm just saying, work on the small scratch. things. You know, like the in terms of like, oh, I don't know, need to polish more stuff like the models or something or the graphics or whatever. You know, just make it look a little bit better and you know, just just work on the small stuff like glitches or whatever. You know, but. Anyways, like I said, that that just kind of concerned me. And then, like I said, the level designs concerned me the most. Was it was just because again they look so linear, and then you then you have Modern Sonic and the Avatar character. It's like now they have 2D segments. And it's like then what's the point of Classic? Then what's Sonic? the point of Classic Sonic? I mean, well, what's I would the have point been of fine. I can agree. I've seen a lot of people complaining saying I want Modern Sonic to be fully 3D. I agree with this. I would like him to be fully 3D. And here's what here's what I should what I think should be. Let Modern Sonic be full 3D, let Classic Sonic be only 2D, and let your avatar be both 3D and 2D. It's a combination of both right there, both play, play styles. I wouldn't be fine with that. But I don't know. think there was ever a game where or ever a stage in the recent 3D Sonic games where that was just fully 3D. It was always that. No, halfway. ever since ever since Unleashed, we've always had 2D sections. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I can understand people getting tired of, you know, with Modern Sonic going It's to like, 3D. okay, here's my thing. If Sonic Team wants to make a 2D, add 2D sections, just make a 2D game on. Because, they, believe it or not, they have... The last 2D game that they've made is, uh... Dang it. Sonic 3. Exactly. Every other game, it's made by, by a different studio. Granted, the argument could be that oh, it's not everyone from the team was there. Like the original Sonic team was pretty much gone, except for Azuka and maybe one other person. I'm thinking, you know, I'm forgetting. I apologize, but it's just yeah. And my thoughts on the Avatar. Initially, I was I found it to be funny. <laughs> You're like, oh, we're finally we're they're finally doing it, huh? But then I got annoyed because, oh, we have to, it's the first time we've played as somebody other than Sonic for the first time since 06 in a 3D game, and it's like, oh, here's an avatar, instead of playing as any of the established characters like Tails or Knuckles, and it's just... Yep. Which is uh, funny because in the game cover, if you have Knuckles and Tails being on the front cover, it's like... Mm -hmm. Kind of, I want to say false advertising, but it's like, yo, I mean, why put them in the front cover in the first place if it's not going to be playable? It's just, they, they, 
but then I warmed up to the idea of the Avatar. It's like, I understand why they're doing it. It's because a lot of people have made Sonic. Bless, <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Hey. Ooh, that came out of nowhere. A lot of people have made Sonic Avatars, and, it's, and they've even gotten gotten requests for, like, oh, can okay, we have that? And honestly, as much as I hate to say it, it's for kids. Again, just because it's for kids doesn't mean it justifies its quality for being, like, if it turns out to be mediocre, saying it's just for kids doesn't... Ex- right, but just- any day we just want it to be a good game. It's, again, it's not like... Not like I want Sonic Force to be a bad game at all. No, opposite. In fact, I want this game to be good because, like, I don't want this. Ge- I don't want. I know this might be having a little too much expectations, but I don't want this game to be just an okay game or disappointing. Yeah. I want it to be good. I want it to feel like you know what? Hey, I like this game. I consider it to be as good as like Colors, Generations, you know, Unleash or whatever, or like, you know, or SA One, SA Two, whatever. Just, just, just throwing up some examples. Like it, you, you want because you know because that we haven't this, had like a good Sonic game in recent times, and you know that this series can do so much better. And Mania is proof of that. Oh, of course, of course. Like Mania is like one of my favorite Sonic games out there recently. It's damn fucking good. But like I was saying before, it's just with with the Avatar thing. It, yeah, I just was a little concerned about that. Um, with the whole, you know, what can they do with it? But if you think about it, you know, whether you like the avatars being in the game or not, being a part of the story, it's kind of a genius move in terms of marketing because that's definitely going to appeal to people like, you know, not just kids, obviously, but it's going to appeal to, like, the people out there, like, I don't mean to sound like a, you know, an internet stereotypical person, but, like, people who on EA as many joking D- D- DNR, you know, Tumblr. DNR, Tumblr, Sonic fans, you know, who make OCs are going to buy and make their characters and it's like their dream country, whatever. You know, which is, I mean, marketing-wise, that is kind of a genius move. So we'll see if, if this is going to affect the game sales or not. We don't know. We'll find out. And then the music. When they release some of the tracks, you know, and, and with the stages and stuff, honest to God, the music is not doing it for me as of this moment. There are two songs that I actually like, and one is Aqua Road, and the second one is um, the main title theme uh not fist bump but the one that plays like on the main menu of the of the demo you know with the oh, world map you know, world, oh that's a world map oh. or before you start the demo what, what, whichever came out with that that was shared on twitter today the one that everyone keeps making jokes that it sounds like halo whatever <laughs> oh oh yeah that's i good. haven't heard that it's very I've good been out the, or, the orchestral music is good and i like the orchestral music but overall i'm just not a fan of the music with green hill for classic sonic it sounds like ass i know it's supposed to like go back to the game gear games or whatever genesis but it just doesn't work you know i'm not a fan of them using like synthesizer too much synthesizers and dubstep you know for the music it, it just doesn't work for me yeah it it didn't work with sonic 4 it's not gonna work here right. and I'm not, I'm not a fan of fist bump and then you know, then they release a fist bump with lyrics, and it's like, oh god, it's a little cringy. I know some people. Wait, like wait, it. wait, wait, wait! You didn't like the instrumental version of it? Before? No, I no, I didn't like the. The instrumental version. was okay. It I, wasn't I didn't, great. I didn't care for it? I wasn't saying it's bad, but like I didn't care for it. But then when they released the lyrics, it's like, oh god, they made it worse. <laughs> yeah, they made it worse. Lyrics, when they which added I know lyrics. some people like on you know, the guilty pleasure. They some people actually say, oh, it's kind of reminiscing back to like Sonic's like, you know, happy go lucky, not happy go lucky days, but. You know, to back where it was like more rock, I guess, or pop rock, you know, with all, or like with Sonic Heroes or whatever, as I want to say two or, or some shit, but it, it, this is just not doing it for me. So, soundtrack, it, I, I, it's not doing it for me at all. I'm not a fan of most of it, but like I said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting. I'm, I am getting this game day one, <laughs> but, and, and here's another red flag for me for about this game was the price for this game. It's $40, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I have an Amazon Prime account, so for me, that's 30 bucks right there. So, obviously, I want to get the game as cheap as possible, but at the same time, though, again, a game that's 40 bucks, that's kind of a little concerning. You want to know another game that came out, like, I would say, like, what, four or five years ago, um, that was highly anticipated, but then, you know, when the price got revealed for the game, a lot of people kind of were, like, in speculating, like, were kind of speculating, like, well, it might be a bad sign, was Deadpool the video game. You know, and it wasn't a bad game at all. People liked it. The problem was it was short and repetitive when it came to the combat system and all that stuff. 
So it's like, okay, well then there you go. There's a red flag. The game was forty dollars. You know, a lot of people excited for it, but when they raise the price, it's like, okay, then it, that tells you that the game well, is really short. I, I I wouldn't say that the forty dollars thing was really a red. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a red flag to everyone. For me, it was. It, it's like, okay, look, I mean, this happened with other games where it's like, oh, maybe it makes you excited, but then when, when it was the price, it's like, something's kind of sketchy, you know? But, but Ratchet easy. and Clank and the Crash Insane Trilogy would like to disagree with you. Wait, how much were, How much was the Insane Trilogy? 40. Oh, it was 40? 40. I thought it was 50. No, 40. Oh, I have no idea. Well, so, so was Ukulele, so was Ratchet and Clank, so well, was To Nat be fair, Ukulele too. got mixed reviews. But, but but that was but that was before like ever we. I know, but I was I was just stating like you know it's, it's just kind of weird you know like when you use a price stuff or a price that low it's just it. It just doesn't feel right. Is one of, for me personally anyway. That's why I'm saying like look I'm, not, I'm again I'm not trying to be in Mr. Negative Nancy here or be cynical, but it's like you know sometimes you just gotta wake up and smell the coffee and there are people out there you know especially on Twitter. We call the what the Sonic Forces Defense Squad. Well, there'll be you know white knighting and cocksucking. Can, can we not? Can no, we not? No, bring I'm sorry. That no, up. no, I'm sorry. We, I, I, we, I, we have to talk about this, man. Because so, look, I'm not again. I'm not trying to be cynical and stuff, but I will admit, you know, there are flaws for me that I personally do not like in this game. Again, I want it to be good, but I'm not gonna just sit there and like eat this shit up. Like, oh yeah, so there's no problem with this game at all. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be the best game ever. It's gonna be better than Odyssey spoilers it won't be <laughs> we know that for a damn fucking fact but <laughs> hey 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 odyssey reviews come out in a few hours no, i'm so sorry we... didn't the early reviews give it almost a perfect score yeah edge gave it a, for a 10 uh but Sue gave it a 39 out of 40 yeah yeah but anyways like i said it's just people like that it's just it's obviously it's a sonic fan base and we don't want to make change the whole subject here but you know, for people that are just saying, oh, yeah, no, this game's going to be good. Why are people nitpicking? That's all they do. It's like, well, no. See, I'm a fan because, like, I care, you know, and I like to point out the flaws because I want it to be better. Again, I want Forces to be a good game, but I'm just not getting too excited for it. The more I see, it's like, the more I see, it just, it just feels like, I, I'm sorry, it's just making me lose interest even more. Like, when they revealed, like, what was it, a week ago? What well, was Spaceport. It's literally chemical plant zone with a different background and with ice on it. And I, 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 I just want to say this just to back up with back Marcos up. There's a huge difference between being a fan and being a fanboy. You're giving criticism because you want it to improve, but he there are there are some things that he will praise. But just say everything is fine, everything's guaranteed to be good. That's especially with this series. That's really. Uh. I mean, like I said, I mean, there are good things. There are some good stuff that I can, I can think about. Like, okay, like visually, the game visually looks great. It looks nice, yeah. Good, like the gra- like graphically, like as of now, it, it looks nice with like the backgrounds and stuff and the colors. The te- and some of the textures look kind of nice. Um, in fact, I was about to get there since the Japanese demo officially came out on the Nintendo Switch for eShop. Uh, I downloaded today, and so did Deji. Uh, again, I was still being a little skeptical, and I played it, and sure enough, uh, my ex- well, what I was like thinking about, you know, uh, was kind of true. But here's the thing: my, the real main problem with this demo is that there's a time limit. I don't. I don't. Un- I honestly one don't minute. understand. That is complete bullshit. And, and here's the thing: Dark Spine Sonic was able to beat the stage, and it. And it's a really short stage, so it's, what's the point? Right, and again, that's that's what I'm saying. It was like with the whole red flag thing, that the, the thing's concerning me is that this this game might be short. Again, and that's what kind of goes on with the price tag is that the game might be a short game, like no game. Which short again, game. which which again, color it, colors and generations, those were good games, but they weren't they're not perfect. Though my problem with colors was that 85 percent of it was 2D and it was short. That was that's it. That's not an exaggeration. Uh, yeah, no, that's not an exaggeration. But um, in Generations, again, it was fun, but the problem was it was short. You know, could have had more content. You know, the granted we had the Casino Night DLC, but I want to say that I was, you know, adding more to the game. But again, those games were good. They were just short. That's the main problem with it. And here, this game looking like it's going to be, sh- but it's going to be a short, okay game. You know, and 
like I said, I, I want this game to be good, but, and I know it'll mean to sound like a broken record, I want this game to be good, but at the same time, though, I have to admit some of the problems with this game, because I don't want to be that guy who's like, oh yeah, I'm excited for this, I'm excited for this, years later, it turns out it's being okay, so, I, I don't know, like I said, after playing this demo, not, not including the whole, I hate the time limit thing, because, you know, I want to explore and, you know, to see what the game has in store for me. And, Deji, would you like to talk about, I'm, I'm sorry, but would you like to talk about uh, that one, I mean, you don't have to say No, uh, no I, I see, uh, okay, so. What that person said about. No, no, wait, wait, honestly, I've seen some people try to justify the game's time limit. And, honestly, this is what I, that fr frustrates me the most. There's been... This goes into the whole there's being a fan and there's being a fanboy. So I, I can't, I don't want to name the person, I, but somebody just said that, oh, it's fine, the time limit's fine just to give you a depth, just to give you a taste of the game without spoiling the level, but it's just. Even that's though we've not, been seeing this for freaking months at E3 and all that stuff and other That's, that's really not shit. a good justification. That's, that's not an excuse, right? I mean, like, at least with the generations for, uh, sorry, for the demo for Sonic Generations, they allowed you to beat the level for both Classic and Modern Sonic for Green Hill. That is, that was good. I'm fine with that. Here it's just like, you know, when I first played it, and I can, I can vouch, you know, Deji can vouch for me when I was first playing, you know, as Modern Sonic and, and Forces. I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever, and then I wanted to test out Sonic, but then it's like, the timer was out. Why? Then I find out, oh, gee, like, the second you start the level, there's a one-minute timer, which is dumb. Again, like, I want to play the level and be a level by itself. So, the demo has, you can play as Modern Sonic and Classic Sonic and the Avatar. So I'm surprised they don't have a tag to the level. Uh, that's yeah, funny. that's something they should have added. Well, anyways, like, like I said, Modern Sonic felt fine um again i'm not really too much of a fan of the wisp coming back or not, not i mean i'm not a fan of using the wisp as a boost you know fill up the boost meter should have stuck with the rings but whatever oh that's back yeah that's back the, the thing is though that when you destroy the enemies they do refill your um your boost but you know okay that's a that little better the wisp you know are inside the, the robots or whatever but anyways, yeah. then you go to Classic Sonic, you immediately start with the boss fight with Eggman, you know, with the Sonic 1 boss fight, then changes to the Egg Dragoon. Again, you have one minute to beat it. Again, uh, you know, I just watched a video of a, you know, a guy beating it, you know, barely managed to beat it with six seconds left, the boss, but, I mean, again, the time limit kind of kills it. That's what the, you know, demo's about. If the levels are short, then why adding, why add the time limit? From what he plays with Classic Sonic, he plays almost exactly like Generations, except he jumps a little bit higher, and he has the drop dash, and you can no longer hold one button to do spin dash, you have to hold down the analog stick and the jump button, I'm fine with that, I don't care, and the spin dash is not OP compared to Generations, so that's totally fine with me. Um, then after that, you know, you get to the Avatar stage, and I'm gonna be completely honest, what I, you know, what I've been, you know, worried about is that the Avatar stages, from what I've played so far and seen so far, and definitely with the demo, it's the weakest out of the three. And and, uh, and honestly, from all the previews I'm hearing, no one likes the Avatar. Right, and it's it's like to like here if I could sum up the Avatar character with just a few words, it's pretty much a butchered modern Sonic without the dash. Only you have a weapon and. Ah you know, man, I was almost I was one thing. And you can do a homing hit. attack with with the grappling hook. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I mean, I can understand like some of the weapons are nice, you know, like I like the flamethrower and I like the electric whip, but personally if I were to choose the two and the three of them, I would definitely choose the fight flamethrower. But the one that I don't yep. like is the hammer. The cube, the cube hammer or whatever tunes like which turns the enemies into points. Yeah, that just looks stupid. It, I mean, it's sluggish, which I get, you know, because it's a hammer, you know, it's heavy and stuff. But like, you know, and it's granted it turns your enemies into coins, which is, you know, I'm sure that'll be useful later down the road when playing the game. But did you just say coins? Coins, sorry, yes, my bad. Said Come coins. on, everyone has at least said that once in their life. Yeah. yeah. Rings, whatever you, you currency, whatever rings you, you turn the enemy. Yeah, into yeah. Lives. Actually, I, I don't think it's been confirmed, but it's pretty much obvious that you're going to be using the rings as your currency in order to buy equipment. Yeah, to buy equipment or clothes for your avatar. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see that. Yeah. Which actually mm -hmm. reminds me of something about with this with this game and, and demo or whatever is that you cannot collect your rings back once you get hit. 
Now, I, I could possibly understand for modern Sonic, you know, since, again, they got, they did this in, uh, you know, Unleashed or whatever, and uh, I can't recall if they did it with, uh, did they, you could collect the rings back in colors, right? Uh, uh no. Um, no. No? No. No, what my generation? Probably not. Uh, I, I've never played I don't recall. I, I, I gotta got play I, You may have been able to. I think right. only in Classic. Right, with Modern Sonic, you can't. But with Classic Sonic, you can't recover your rings, which, again, feels feels awkward. You know, because mm -hmm. Classic games, you can recover your rings and stuff like that. Here, it's like you get hit, you know, I mean, too bad. I mean, and it's not really going to be like a downfall. It's not like a, I wouldn't say like a bad thing. But it just feels so weird, like, not being able to collect your rings back, you know, after playing, like, the Sonic games for all these years. Um, especially Mania, too. And with Avatar, again, you can't collect your rings, whatever. So, like I said, that's just a little concern to me. And I'm not a fan, maybe it's just me, but I'm not a fan of the layout of, like, the game itself. Like, when you pause and stuff, and, like, the fonts of the game, like, on the menu look and stuff like that. Like, you know, where it says, like, your timer, your ring count, all that stuff. It feels kind of lazy to me, like the way it looks, where it's just plain black and red, you know, and square. It, it's too simple. It's too <laughs> simple. Too simple. For right. 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 Too simple. Feels like it's just like they just made it on the go, like as soon as possible. Like, okay, here you go. Here's the mm -hmm. layout with level layout. It's just it, it looks a little lazy to me. Again, and it's probably going for the style, you know, for the story of the game or tone of the game. But again, it just doesn't work for me. Speak it. Speak it. Speaking of, you want to talk about the plot? And not to add anything stupid, but I feel like I did better just by changing the generation's color to red and yellow. Oh yeah, I, I, I do like the generation layout with the, you know the different shapes and shit and the different colors. Yeah, I, I like that. Okay. Yeah. But sorry, what, what were you saying, Digi? The plot. You, you want to talk about the plot? Ooh, yeah, sure. Why not? You go first. Um. <laughs> honestly, I want to know how this goes. I, I, the trailer that they showed off like last month or earlier this month. Not not the one from last week, but the one like the one for Tokyo Game Show. Yeah, yeah. That actually did interest me. Right. Just wish that classic Sonic wasn't there, and maybe the Avatar, because like the idea of Eggman winning and everyone banding together, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, it really is. Mhm. Mm but but when you have the Avatar and then you have another Sonic, and then you have Infinite, it feels like a fanfic. Fanfic. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, you get to make your OC. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll see you with my OP powers. Uh. Like, <laughs> like you, the Avatar, are somehow more useful than any of Sonic's friends who's been. I mean, just look at Sonic heroes and see what how what they're capable of, you know? Yeah. Abilities. Especially Omega and Vector. Oh yeah. Now oh, speaking of Omega, did you see that trailer from last week where yeah, he with was Omega, like, being much... shut down or something? That's another thing. They added all these obscure characters like Omega. Or, wait, no, they didn't add Omega yeah, yet. They added, they yeah. they added um, Silver and SPO. Well, they better explain why he's in the fucking game. Okay, all right. Here's another thing I have. Uh, as time goes on, I think the reason why I hate her now is. Not him as a character. I just hate how he's always forced. <laughs> I, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was completely unintentional for once, actually. But I, I just dislike how he's always shoehorned into these plots. So it's like, oh, I try and travel because my future is in trouble. But it's like, how? How are you able to time travel? What exactly? How? How do? You, how? Does, uh, um, God, the power of the chaos symbol. Consistency has not been good with his franchise. It's, I think we it's can It's just really like, he's essentially it. a walking time paradox. He really you is. Know, if, if they made him like a space police, a time police or something like that, I'd be, you know what, I'd be down with it. You're right. I, honestly, I'm kind of 
as much as I love boys, I'm kind of glad she's not in the game because then you're gonna be like, okay, why are she, why is she? Has she been confirmed? To, uh, has she been confirmed to not be in the game? Yeah, Aaron Weber said uh, this past, during TwitchCon, I believe it was, that she wasn't going to be in the game. Neither were Cream and Big. Really? I actually thought Cream was going to be well, Big, obviously. I thought Cream was actually going to be there. But okay, I'm fine with that. I don't care. But, yeah, no, I, I can agree with, like, again, Classic Sonic feels like, and again, not trying to make, make any shitty puns here, but he feels like he's forced to be there. Just, I wouldn't say for nostalgia pandering because a lot of people would say that for me and shit, but it just feels like they're this, just there no, to this, no, this one feels like cashing. Yeah, yeah it, it really does. I, is it to say, okay, for me, this is kind of my biggest problem is that Sega doesn't have any fucking confidence to know to do what, to have their full on idea for a, for a game with Modern Sonic. Because think about it, with every, you know, ever since, you know, Modern Sonic came to, like, you know, with the boost and stuff with Sonic Unleashed or whatever with. The, I would say ever since like 06, Modern Sonic has always had a gimmick to back up on. You know, you could argue with Secret Rings, the motion controls, you know, Dark, uh, sorry, um, Black Knight. You know, I, you I, I, I wouldn't say ever since 06, yeah. I'd say ever since the, the jump to 3D. Oh yeah, yeah, true, that that is true, but I'm talking about like more, it was a little more obvious. Like, uh, and especially with Unleashed. Unleashed, okay, Modern Sonic had the Boost 49 3D for once, you know, looks nice. But, but then you got the Werehog to kind of drag him down and slow down the pace of the game. Then you had, you know, colors. You got the Wisp. Again, that's not a bad thing. Not all, the gimmick is, the gimm Having a gimmick is not a bad thing, you know, but when you're, like, using way too many gimmicks, you know, for so long, it's like, you know, it just shows that, again, you know, with, with we're, again, with colors, you have the Wisp. Generations, you had classics on it. Again, not, they're not bad. Not all of them are bad. But then you got Lost World, which, I mean, being real with you, you know, I'm not saying the game's not bad. It's an okay game for me, but its reception is was like mixed to mediocre. You know, because of the way Sonic controlled with the game mechanics, the parkour system, and stuff like that, because they wanted to take a break, you know, with the boost formula, understandable. And I'm fine with them bringing back the parkour mechanic, you know, just work on the few kinks of it, you know, like, it's a good idea, needs work though, with the with better execution with the gameplay mechanics. And it's like, here, it's like, oh, look, guys, we brought back the boost formula because Lost World didn't do so well with the new parkour mechanic, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, yeah, why not that? Let's add classics on it. Better yet, let's add an avatar, or create your character thing. It's just like. Uh, do you also, speak of alternate characters, we want to talk about episode Shadow? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. It's we, just we, a. It's just free it's DLC. It's just the Shadow skin. Shadow. Which, again, remind, brings it back with the level design. From what we've seen so far, I know that we're getting like, what, over 10 levels of Shadow with the DLC. Yeah. Uh, but the first level that they showed, I'm sorry, that level design is just bland. It's, very bland to quote bland. some call me Johnny, it's homing attack city. <laughs> it really is. And it's just like I said, the more I look at it, the gameplay wise, it doesn't look interesting. It doesn't look bad. It just looks bland and boring. To me. And What's with I, the random cubes? Oh, that's infinite. infinite. I know it's infinite, but like, I don't know. He's why? I don't know because he creates energy or some shit. We don't know. I guess we'll find out when the game comes out. But I mean, I, they're gonna make more DLC, right? You know, other than just Shadow. I'm. Uh, uh. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully, they'll be free because I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm not not sure. I would like to see where they also where this game story goes, and, and like I said, for me, for a Sonic game, I would prefer if they was both. I want to say not too lighthearted, but not too dark either. And I'll give a perfect example of a story that handled this well was Sonic Unleashed. That had a good balance between serious moments and comedic moments. But ever since after that, you know, Unleashed with colors, it was more lighthearted. Again, I was fine with that because that was the first time they were doing it with the new writers. Generations is like, eh, okay, but there's some bottles here and there. It's just more comedic. And Lost World came out, it's just like, okay, yeah, look, you guys need to, like, I don't want anything to be too serious or anything, but it's like, I don't, I can't, you guys just need to stop being a little more lighthearted and I don't want to take it seriously, but bring back the tone of, like, you know, Unleashed or hell, even like, I SM2 mean, that's what SM1. they're trying, that's what they're trying to do with this game, though. The, oh, I know, but here's the thing, like, uh, from what we it so seems. It still like, seems a little bit too kitty. Too, no, not. I don't say too no, kitty. It's no. like they're going like too dark. Again, I, I'm willing to wait until the game comes out, play the game myself, and see how the story is. But I just hope it's not. I just hope the story isn't bad as well. 
but <laughs> like classic Sonic. I mean, for what I've already seen so far, it looks yeah. interesting. Like you know, with Sonic being gone or whatever, what happened to him and Eggman pretty much took over most of the world. That sounds interesting. In fact, it kind of reminds me sort of of the comics, which is nice. I guess you know, it takes some inspiration, whatever. But all right, so, yeah. so all right, so uh, before we wind up repeating ourselves, <laughs> are we going? I just let's let's talk about the biggest elephant in the room that makes us question about everything. How long this game has been in development for? Honestly. Because, okay, yes, I they said that it's been in development immediately after Lost World, but that doesn't mean it's like, oh, we plan to have Sonic, classic Sonic, and an Avatar, and we want to... I'm sure, like, they were going through other ideas and stuff and developing the Hedgehog Engine 2, but it's just like, I, 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 but it feels like something w- went down during the development of the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which again, it brings up my issue where like this game feels rushed in a way, like it's just yeah. something like, <laughs> rushed. Yeah. Uh, well, rush whatever. Like for me, it just if something about it feels off. Like there's no way in hell this game has been developed before. I'm mean, sure it was, like you know, but there's no way in hell like they started like from the ground up and stuff. Like they changed. It looks like again with Classic Sonic, it feels like he's being shoehorned into the game. You know, it's just, it just seems like they added that all that kind of stuff at the last minute. And be, but let's be honest here. If it weren't for Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric doing so bad, keeping it real without the Avatar, if that probably would have been Boom Sonic for the third playable character. Yeah. Especially like just imagine because the it pl- whole because because the whole what the weapon the, the use of the weapons whips, you know, the, the inner, grappling inner hook which thing, is pretty much yes the inner beam. yes the. Yeah. Okay. I'm, 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 like, I'm glad they didn't bring back Boom Sonic, but at the same time, just I, it, I mean it looks like. I, I, honestly, honestly, I'd rather they would have gone with the extra mile because it would have made more sense to have three songs instead of just Sonic, Sonic, Avatar. What? Ah, uh, well, honestly, but then there would be another reason to say, oh, why is it just another variation of Sonic? Why can't we have Shadow? Even though Shadow's like a fucking other hedgehog who played it's, more it's like, than Sonic, but whatever. I mean, it's just like you might as well go the extra mile so of just making an unexpected left turn. Honestly, the a- idea of an avatar, I think it could have worked as its own standalone thing. I just don't think it's the game that we really needed right now. And as I'm I'm playing the demo as we're talking, and, and so I just get this feeling that it, it, it just makes me underwhelmed. But... It's not. It's technically not bad. It's just, huh? Could have been better. Could have been better. Like it, and, you're not disappointed by it, but it's like it. It's oh, I, 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 am, I, I, I am in a sense. I'm like, huh? I expected more, but there is one important. Uh, yeah. Wow! I just lost the trail for. Uh, no, it's, yeah. it's all good. Uh, well, I was gonna say, wait, are there lives in this game? No, no, unlimited lives. Hmm. I was about to say, okay, well, that's fine, because uh, I noticed when I got like over 100 greens or whatever, I didn't get, you know, an extra life. I'm not gonna complain, because again, one of the problems was when Lost World came out was that when, you know, before the patch and stuff, when you got over 100 greens, you did not get an extra life, and in that game, you did have a life system or whatever, so piss off a lot of people, and including myself, would like to think they patched that. So with here, it's like okay, well I'm fine. If which al- which also explains the whole. Oh. You can't really, you can't collect your rings back. Yeah. Wow, you actually read my mind. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. Well then, yeah, that's I guess true. But like I said, I like I said it. This game, it looks nice. Um, in terms of like visual stuff, but like, I want I want to see how this whole thing plays out because I know there are some people that tell me like. Oh, like, why do you want to, you know, like, well, they, they, there are people that don't want to get this game after a and I, I don't blame them. Again, that's what demos Yeah, are because for. it's like, honestly... Are the demos are there to help you. De- they're here to demonstrate, that's why it's short for demo, you know, uh, uh, to demonstrate uh, the game to see if it appeals to the audience. You know, no one point. no one wants to spend $40 on a game that they're not, that they probably won't like. 
Like, right. lo- like yes, it's forty dollars and cheaper than the normal price, but it's still that's your. Why would you spend money on something that you're not comp- you're not entirely sure? Right, especially if you're uh, getting the Switch version, which uh, I'm getting the Switch version, but you know, obviously it's you know, since the Switch is you know weaker compared to the Xbox One and uh, PS4. Obviously, you know, instead of being sixty frames per second, it's thirty frames. And, uh, you know, there are some little graphical downgrades, you know, in terms of textures and stuff like that, which, again, I'm fine with, as long as the game plays well, like, in terms of, like, you know, no terrible frame rates or whatever, and it, and it looks decent, then I'm fine, I'm not gonna complain about it, you know? Yeah, I, like, from playing the demo, like, yeah, it's very French, but it actually, it, it's come a long way since the E3 demo. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, I guess after playing the demo, you know, speculating, I'm, I'm still not, I don't want to get my hopes too high about it. It's just, oh, it's, oh, 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 wait, I, I, I remember. I, I think this game is going to be like Sonic Colors. Not, not, well, who disagree? Not a bad game or a tech or anything. It's just a perfectly decent game, but we'll probably get, baseball, or in this case, more flat than it really deserves. Yeah, because I think Colors is yeah, it's a decent game, but I found it to be maybe people overpraised it just a bit. Yeah, when it first came out, it got overpraised. Well, to, well, to be fair, I can, really I can sort of understand why because yeah, again, bad. again, the, what, the main thing with Sonic Unleashed at the time was that people, you know, the majority, a lot of people they like liked, the Werehog, liked the Unleashed, also you had... know, daytime stages. They just weren't fan of the Werehog. So in yeah, a way, they didn't with like Colors, Black it was. Like, stuff like that yeah, so like, it just feels like true, oh I'm it's because, like with a boost format and stuff like that not just but the point is, is I, that, I know but it's just it, it just feels like oh because of all the media mediocrity that we've had this suddenly feels so much better better I, in be- a way I, I i can agree with the people that say that it, you know because again there's no werehog i mean yeah there's still a gimmick with the wish and stuff but again those are power-ups you know to help you advance through the levels and stuff like that and they had a purpose story-wise so which again makes me wonder what, why the wisp in this game, you know, for forces. Because in being real here again in Lost World, because, they really had here, no here. reason to be there story-wise, you know, in be- terms of games, you know, gameplay-wise. Be- because we're Sonic heroes, that's Shut why. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if the game ends with, with Infinite saying it's no use, but why can't I defeat you? And Sonic yeah, says, because like we're it. Sonic forces, I'm going to get angry. No, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Is there anything else you want to say, or we're just gonna? I, I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to get this game when it first You're comes out. You're gonna get it day one. I, know I, you I, are. I don't. You're I going honestly, to get it day one. We're the problem. I, yeah, that's the thing. I don't want to be part of the problem. Like, I just feel like not buying it will actually set the send a message. It's not. No, it, I mean, people are going to buy a regard. I mean, I'm not saying like one person. Hey, hey, I'm hey. Not, I'm people not, look, no, no, no. I, I'm not saying one person won't make a difference or anything, but I'm, I'm just saying like for me, look, despite the fact that I'm being like, I guess, too cynical about this or whatever, or I'm, you know, still like not hyped about it or I'm still cautious about this, worried, I'm still going to get a day one. And there have been people that told me like, oh, why, why do you want to get it? I'm like, well, you know what? Because I want to play the game myself. And I want to, you know, give my full opinion on this to say if it's a good game or a bad game. Well, I was, I, I say, I, but I'm just like, okay, look at Sonic Lost World. People were complaining, like, oh, you're gonna buy it anyway. It bombs. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it Sonic bombed terribly. Right yeah, to, to be fair, to be fair, that was on the Wii U. That, that, yeah, but it was, it was also, but it was also on the 3DS, uh, which had a much larger install base. That is, that is and, true. And, and, and not to mention, uh, it got ports to Steam a couple years later, so it's like... Yeah, and it still didn't it, do well. Exactly, so maybe that should say something. Not ever, the, the fan base isn't enough to like justify the, seri- the series anymore, because like, it's, like the, it's the general public at this Right, and like I said, we'll find out if the game does well and critically with fans and critics. Good. If it's well, <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. I know, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, if it does well with sales with and receptionally wise, you know, critique wise, and sales, good. Better. That makes it better. 
because Sonic does need to get back up on his feet again. Again, he was starting to recover with with colors and generations, but then he quickly fell down when it came to Lost World and and Boom Rise Lyric. Again, I know it wasn't been made by Sonic Team, but again, I still count that as a Sonic game because you know, it has Sonic's name on it. But yeah, yeah so I want to talk about the marketing. How, how, how you feel it's been handled? I know none of us are marketing experts, but uh, I mean, I mean, I took why my, Hooters? I'm not. <laughs> uh, well, I ain't, first of all, I ain't complaining against Hooters. I've been there a couple times, and it's, they, they serve good food. So, and the waitresses are nice, obviously. But <laughs> but it, the thing is that they're only exclusive to Japan. Why sounds I mean, better than Carl's Juniors? Yeah. Oh yeah, but definitely better than Carl's Juniors, but. Yeah, the marketing. Um, I mean, you could tell they're trying to. I don't want to say go all out, but like it's just find it a little questionable. I mean, like like we talked about this before, um, Deji. But you know, isn't the music some of the music being composed by like at the London, you know, Symphony, uh, Symphony Orchestra. Orchestra, which is basically you know where the music was composed for you know, you know, great Star Wars. like Star Wars and. Yeah, you know, what well, you know? They're not considering how big of a name they are. They ain't cheap. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, you can tell they're trying to go a lot with big names like that. And again, promoting themselves with the restaurant. I mean, granted, Hooters isn't really like a big, you know. I, I'm name still mad that they just industry. never. I, I'm still mad that they never had a partnership with Sonic. Sonic, yeah, that would have been a good opportunity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Holy crap! Sega are the kings of missed opportunities. <laughs> You, uh, you know it was sad when Nintendo had a partnership with Sonic before Sega did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, as a marketing, it's it, it does seem a little weird to me, but it's not that bad for me. I'm not gonna. It's, I'm not. I'm not complaining about it, but I can understand for people that are a little, you know, uh, questioning questioning it. But go ahead. I'll let you. I'll let you pass it to you, Daddy. Uh, honestly, I feel as if, mm, I don't want to come off as someone who knows it all, but I feel as if they're just drip feeding us information just to generate false hype. Because what do you think about it? Like any tiny bit of information, if you look at YouTube and uh, Twitter, there's always going to be people like, oh my god, this looks so amazing. And it's like, yeah, it's the same way how Mania did it. But but I give a, a free pass because it was it was a digital only. This is a retail game. It feels like they're just giving us, real trip, trip feeding us information just to cause some small hype. Because people are going to get hyped regardless. Right. Like, just because it's but it feels like this is only for Sonic fans how is this going to happen for the, the general, general audience pump? yeah yeah no I, I, I actually I, I do agree with that you it's, not, it, it doesn't help with people defending the timer of the demo I feel as if that's actually working. Yeah, no, that yeah, that's limiting. You know, the people who want to play it because if they want to explore more. No, 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 no. It's it. But part of me, it's working in, in a bit because you have some people who are justifying it, and then you. But there are also other people who got to play it and say, "Yeah, I'm not impressed with it." Yeah, and impressions are everything. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <sighs> But I was talking to a friend today, and he mentioned that sometimes demos don't really do a good job at interpreting anything because games like Bravely Default and Yokai Watch had demos, but apparent, but they didn't really do a good job at representing the final product because there were some enemies that were really hard to beat. I was gonna say, like, I mean, this is a little. A different game to talk about, but I, I, you know, for what was that game called? Uh, for the Wii U, I mean, uh, the game that got you know received pretty good reviews. It's called um, Hero 101. I think that's what it's called. No, no. Um, dang it. What was it called? It's that game. That Wonderful, you, 101? Wonderful 101. Thank you, thank you. Like I didn't like for me personally. I did not like the demo, but apparently the game got good reviews and stuff. And, uh, 
And uh, supposedly uh, it's good. It's good, but again, I played demo. wasn't I wasn't a fan of it. But apparently, it says, oh, like, well, this is a demo. You know, it's it's that's not you know like how the how the game fully is and stuff like that. Again, I just for me, I kind of judge based on the demo. It didn't. I wasn't a fan of it. I didn't hate it. I was just like, I don't think I'm gonna spend like 50 bucks or 30 bucks on this game. So, but I was just throwing it as an example. Well, does that count? Like for someone like me, you know, who didn't like the demo, but you know, it's. It's not. It's a, wonderful. One hundred and one is a game that's not gonna click with everybody, and fans of the game have said that. So, mm, okay. And I think. Well, hold on. Let me just check. It has a seventy-eight on Metacritic. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah. No, but yeah, I guess I understand about your, you know, your thoughts on the marketing and stuff. For for me. Like, I, I can tell something, again, I don't mean to sound like that guy who's, like, saying, oh, yeah, go, who's, like, go for forces, but bashing, uh, I'm sorry, no, uh, bashing on forces and going for Mania, but here's the thing, with me, this is, maybe this is just me how I felt, but when they were marketing for Mania with the trailers and stuff, and the anime, when they showed the animation trailer, which is fucking beautiful animation, the uh, animation by uh, Tyson has, um, good stuff, it's like, because if it felt like when you're seeing those trailers and they're playing the music upbeat, you know, and I'm not saying it's, you know, appealing to, you know, just the classic fans, but as a Sonic fan, for me, it felt like, yeah, okay, they have confidence. You could tell they have balls, you know, to show, like, what they got, you know, and that this game feels like it's going to be a good game. Again, I can go with Odyssey. Odyssey, a lot, a lot of people are excited for. I know I'm bringing in a different game here, but that game looks that, like that, But they're both platformers, and the marketing, the marketing between the two are really day and night. Oh, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, with here, it's like they show with confidence and stuff. Like, okay, yeah, this is going to be it, you know. And a lot of people seem interested with Forza. It just seems a little, I don't want to say all over the place, but it just seems a little, I guess you could say, an awkward situation where it doesn't, like, feel like you know what it's doing. It's like, especially with the, when we had, they revealed more gameplay styles. So what? You got Modern Sonic, you got Classic Sonic, you got the Avatar, then you got the Tag Team. And then, um, what, what else? You also got, I guess if you want to count Shadow, DLC, whatever. Am I missing something? Who else? plays like Sonic, except that's what everybody wants in the first place. Yeah. Am I missing another gameplay style? Uh, the no. tag? The what? Yeah, I remember the tag team. team. Oh. Which no. is uh, kind of reminded me a little bit of Sonic Heroes. Can't say if that's a good or bad thing, but, uh. What, what, how, how did you feel when they fist bumped? That was stupid. Uh, I did not like it. Not at all. Especially when they're doing the double boost and they play the song. It's like, no. Like, it just, there's a time I of place. That. Like, if they, okay, if they had played that song, like, again, I don't know yet because the game is not out, but if they play that song in the final boss, I could find it understandable because, again, they did that stuff back with, you know, Sonic Heroes, whatever, when they played, you know, what I'm made of, whatever, you know, at the final it's boss. It's cheesy as hell and I love it. Yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't like the song personally. Don't hate it, but I don't like it. It's just whatever. But that, that's all I gotta say. Is, is there anything else, or are we just going to close our thoughts? I, I just hope that even though the game is pretty much finished and all says done, I do hope that maybe they do better next time, or maybe. Maybe it's time that Sonic Team doesn't work, takes a long break from the series and work on other things. Because Sean Nakamura yeah. say, they said that he wants to make a, a De Amigo game. Uh, Azuka, Azuka has gone on record saying that he wants to br- make a new Knights game. So it's just. Yeah, they, maybe let, they should, maybe they should, yeah, maybe they should take a break and mm-hmm. let them work on other stuff. I'm totally cool and with that. It, Yeah. Maybe like get if you really want a pretty Sonic game, get another developer. Right, or make I'd a full say, on, yeah, make a full on three D legit Sonic game. I'd say do what they did with Mania and get fans who made two E games, but it's like do we have any good three D Sonic fan games? Yeah, not Sonic to, Utopia. Not, Sonic Utopia, that game but, yeah. that, but that's but that's not finished though. Well, I know, but I'm just, I'm just, well, well if you're down in one fin, well, I don't know, well, I'm just throwing one, that one out there. Because uh, I can't think of any other 3D yeah. games, you know, for Modern, for Sonic, you know, the fan game that's good, because I haven't played too many of them. But. but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what our thoughts are for Sonic Forces, like I said, overall, I just want this to be a good game. 
by the end of the day, and we'll find out when the game comes out. So, if the game is bad, do we get to say Sonic Forces Infinite Disappointment? Sure, I yes. Guess. <laughs> we're we're gonna make an impressions video right after when the game comes out. Yeah. Uh, do you think I'm gonna buy it? If, yes, I know. If the game buy it. sucks, that could be the title of the let's, of the let's play we're gonna do. All right, guys. Well, that's all we have for the video for today, and uh, hopefully the game will be good. And we'll talk to, talk to see you guys later. Yeah, bye. Bye.